combo and steal games like anybody's business, you know? Like, uh -huh. that is that is his MO, that is his bread and butter. But K9 is just like, you know what? I'm going to play a solid neutral, and I'm just going to out neutral you the entire time. Yeah, that's the thing, though, sometimes. K K9 goes ahead and uh, sometimes he gets a little too linear on his neutral. Like, he goes like, all right, this is this is the formula that works, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep using that and throw that out. Right. It works, it works. Master Mario, he kind of has to go ahead and mix up his uh, different options for it. In order, to go ahead and, uh, in order to do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, Master Mario definitely makes you feel like every option you pick against him is wrong. <laughs> you know? He's just like, oh, you, you think you're safe just because the upper air string get landed? No, no. You're not safe until you're back on the ground. No, no. Yeah, exactly. Already starting with the string right there. Going for down air into back air. Good start for that. K9 is boost. Still have to go ahead and find his way in. He tries to move with those nares. Gets a fair grab. Starting up at that percent. That worked, that worked out pretty well. Oh, but it's working out a little bit well off of Master Mario. I really like that. Wow. Okay, man. Already, already in danger to sense for the K9. Gonna go ahead and well, well win that neutral right there. Well played. Here we go. Down throw. Trying to get the ledge option. Not gonna be able to find it. No, Master Mario opting to go for the cape to grab the ledge instead. Right. No, both players, this is, momentum keeps going back and forth. It's like, oh, but Master Mario gonna go ahead and pull up the less, uh, that, that part of the momentum. Oh, K9! Like, unfortunate SD. Yeah, again, I mean, the side B there. Yeah, I mean, not, not even the side B. It's just that, no, he might want the, the up angled, uh, like not quite uh, 45 degrees, but like kind of like that. Ooh, like good read from Kenan Bruce taking a page from Master Mario and doing some random mass smashes. Love it. Here we go, sending back the neutral. Kenan getting the kill, or not the kill, but like the the hit confirm. Right, right. No, he's, he's actually taking that thing with that back. It's that grab. And again, just continues to try to extend his lead as much as possible because he knows that Master Mario can bring it back anytime he wants. True. But K9 just has to go keep going and rely on these, uh, these, uh, these stray hits. He gets that back here. Great spacing. And again, trying to read the roll. Almost gets that landing. We know Master Mario's up here is going to connect right before it lands. Okay, well played with that. Oh. Okay, uh, he's trying to go ahead and use their trades with the Nair. Right. Good favor for, for Sean, actually. Right, but now he has to worry about no Master Mario just throwing out that random up smash. Right. He's got to be careful. Oh, there it is. And then K9 throws an up smash to Zoro. Yep. He's like, okay, I know you're up smash. You think it's safe, but mine can scoop you from a million miles away if you're like anywhere like trying to hit me. He sniffed it out a mile away. That K9 actually going in here, pulling like the dog he is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Love it. Oh, okay. Ooh, I love that. Waiting patiently in shield, knowing that Master Mario, he's eventually going to up smash, so like, his shield was healthy enough to, like, I can take it. Well, because uh, Master Mario, he's just hungry for it. Whenever he goes ahead and he really wants something, sometimes he just gets it anyway. Right. <laughs> Here we go. There's the fair into the fair. Gets the third one, and no, tried catching the landing with the four tail, but not going to be able to kite reach it in time. Grab for Master, but not going to be able to capitalize for it off it. Ooh, I love that. Using the spot dodge, knowing that, like, okay, K9 probably thinks that, like, I'm going to uh, stay in shield, and so he spot dodge just to avoid that. And, you know, he opened K9 up and brought this back to even. Oh, wow. No, this is actually this is looking like a bad time for K9. He has to go ahead and figure out his way back in. Brings it back to the even percentage. Puts, it, puts him off stage. Has to go ahead and try to find a way to finish out. Goes with the uh, get-up attack. Not good for Master. Ooh, trying going out another forward tail, but it's gonna get hit by the up beat. Yet again, gets all these ledge traps options from Master Mario. He's just trying to find the kill option over there, not being able to space up that, that back here. Oh, almost gets forward air, but he forward smash, but he uh, loses his way back out of that way. Uh, I love really how he's trying to play the space game here. Yeah, I love how K9 just drifted back ever so slightly to avoid the forward smash right there. Yeah, he just it feels like K9's just dancing around each kind of different moves. And Master Mario was willing to play Tango. All right, here we go into game two. See if K9 can really still keep that uh, momentum. I mean, I feel like at this point, it's not even K9 keeping momentum. It's can you know, Master Mario keep up with K9's pace? Uh, yeah, no, Master can definitely go ahead and keep up the pace and change it right. if he really needs to. The question is, how is it going to change and evolve as these games continue? Going into game two, right back to PlayStation 2, my favorite stuff. Here we go. Gets the dash attack, but you know what? Honestly, not enough hit stun, so Mario gets a combo off of it, and K9 just ate a good 40% off of that, and it just keeps on extending even further beyond. 
That's why I like it. Okay, tries to go and give him the back air. Master Mario going ahead and putting in some really good work on that percentage though. K9 has, uh, has to put in some work to go ahead and bring that back. Ooh, no. I, lo I love what uh, K9 did right there. Because he knows that, like, okay, he's probably going to want to drop shield at a certain point. You know? And at that percent, no, that could be death. Okay. Oh, and then we can get that back there on that uh, get up option. Master Mario, only at 40%. I mean, that's the other thing you have to worry about Mario, that Mario can do two back airs off of his short ops. So, you know, if you throw that one trying to catch the air, the, the jump from ledge, you can always throw out a second one to catch a neutral get up. Mm -hmm. Master Mario, you want that down air. Actually, already really putting, in, putting in some work that percent can. He has, to start, has to go ahead and start putting in work. This is that F smash. Off air change. This could kill. Ooh, okay, doesn't quite perfect. Well played by the DI from uh, uh, Spruce. Okay. And he again reads the roll in, but no, or the roll away, but you no, know, just overshoots it just ever so slightly. Okay, tries to see if he's ready to really get the god. This is an up smash back row. Okay, I'm thinking that works, but still needs to clean up that stock if he has a prayer of getting, of getting back in this game. Master Mario really go ahead and putting on the hurt flag. And you know what, Master Mario opting to go super far away to avoid the up smash, but you know what? Gut's a little bit greedy with the up smash of his own, and that's going to get punished. I mean, that's how, see how he's lost in the past three stocks, actually, for that to k up smash after Master Mario's own up smash. I feel like, I feel like just k is just playing that, hey, I can beat you out with your own, with your own smash tags. You want to play with smash tags? I'll go ahead and play with them. Yeah. I mean, it's the idea that you know, K9's just playing a very, very defensive game against Master Mario. You know, if Master Mario, uh, you know, goes and overextends, you know, K9 does have an option to kill against him. Ooh, okay. Dash tag changes up the option. He's just been staying in shield, waiting for Master. But this time, he opts to go out. Just try to punish him for that. Some interesting exchanges that and how they're going to go ahead and have to change the ball of his gameplay as time goes on in order to not become predictable. There you go and then again the narrative is gonna trade, but you know what? He's at 160%. It's definitely like any trade at this point, I feel like, would be beneficial for K9. No way! Wow, what a what a swing to that. That rage really went in and brought him right back in the game. I was surprised that killed right there. Ooh, but the up air is gonna interrupt K9 right there. Gets the four tilt to send him off stage. Not gonna be able to find it. Ooh, good grab, K9. I actually, uh, you know, coming that really close. I thought I saw Master Mario just starting to put in the frames for that up smash. Not quite gonna get it though. And again, K9 trying to go in deep for an option, not going to find it. And yet again, we talked about K9 having momentum, and this is it. K9 is in the driver's seat, and Master Mario doesn't seem to have an answer quite yet. Oh, and there's another up smash, taking it up for the fourth time, cleaning up that stock like that. Yet again, Master Mario, you know, he felt his back against the wall, trying to bet it on old, reliable, the noggin, and you know what? that has not been the answer this entire set. Not. Nope. Kenan Spruce taking a cool sip of water. Both players actually going ahead and making sure that they already play. Kenan's like, that tasted good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go, game three. I also feel like Master Mario goes in and changes the colors depending on how he's styling. Usually, uh, if you were to go ahead and ask Zenyu, the super serious Mario is when you go ahead and put out Brown Mario out. So, let's see, what, let's see what kind of momentum change that uh, Master goes and plays now that he's playing uh, Oh Evil Mario. Evil, Evil Mario. Mario. Okay, I like that better. I thought it was always Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Just throwing out a fair just because he can. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Up air strings. Okay. Oh, just barely missed him with that. All right. Good DI from the end. Back air. Yeah, gets the DI mix up on the down throw. Gets the down tilt. Not going to be able to go for the back air because it doesn't pop him up high enough. Oh, with that up smash, Old Reliable finally coming into that. All right, but I mean, Old Reliable didn't kill right there, so maybe like semi-reliable at that point. Okay, semi-reliable, but the percentage is still reliable. I mean, yeah, it, it's damage. Oh, okay, good back here. All right. Let's go with that cannon going ahead, coming, coming alive a little bit, showing some life. Oh, that up smash! Once again, Old Reliable. All right. <laughs> okay, sometimes reliable. Yeah. I mean. Uh, He's earned the title of Old Reliable again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the first up smash kill we've seen from Master Mario that's actually connected and kill. Yes, you're right, actually. I think it has, actually. Because uh, Kenan's been trying to sniff those out. And, uh, this time, just for the first time, actually, I'm going to sniff those up smashes. All right. Yeah, and and uh, Master already really putting in the, bass, uh, the, the, the gas mileage to go ahead and put uh, Kenan at already 108% on his second stock. Now we go, just fishing out all these back airs, and then eventually one will hit. But no, K9 going in low. Master, oh, he makes it back. I almost thought for a second he wasn't. 
mean, yet again, I feel like Kana is just like, okay, I can go for this Nair and if it trades, like, he's dead anyways because he expended his double jump. But you know what? He picked poorly right there because Master Mario was just like, oh, you want to throw yourself off stage versus me? Nah, fam, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to kill you when you're in disadvantage. You 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 picked a poor decision right there. Oh, <laughs> speaking of poor decisions right oh. there. Uh, well played by Master Mario. Through Brandon Master. He's starting to look more like Master Mario with the right. this, Now this is the Master Mario going like, okay, now I'm in your head. He it it took a little bit of drilling. You know, he had to like make a left turn and a, and a right turn. You no know, double back. You no know, kind of figure out. Okay, where's the map? Kind of get back. Oh. Here it is. Here's the map. Yes, this is uh, K9S Bruce. Yeah, no, yes. and he's still playing with the Super Series colors. Right. Master, really, really serious about this next game. All right. Now, can K9 adapt after that you know, pretty commanding game three right there? He's putting himself more ground area here. I like it. So he's giving himself more to go ahead and try to play neutral with. So it'll be interesting to go ahead and see uh, the, the kind of uh, the exchanges he gets off of this. But Master Mario already capitalizing off really well with that at 54%. And you know, K9 just overextending a little bit off of his combo. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the grab exchange for that. 30%. Uh, uh, K9's gonna have to go ahead and put in some real work. And again, gets the Nair in the back air. Now he's off stage, and yet again gets oh. the Nair. He doesn't have a dumb. He doesn't make it back. K9 is Bruce taking the first stock in game four. And again, you know, I was. I was like, okay, there's at least like a 50% chance that Mario might make it back because of magnet hands, but you know what? K9 is barely sneaking in the kill, and you know what? Master Mario is just like, okay, you got the kill on me, fine, but let me let me take it back. Angry Master Mario going ahead so long to K9. Putting <laughs> that grab and putting in that percent work already. Seeing if he can go ahead and poke strong shield at, at any way that he can right there. K9 is still firing back with those spares of his own. Good, good Tomahawk grab action coming out from K9. Yeah. This is actually kind of, kind of intense, actually. K9 actually trying to go back and forth. Both, both players' wills just pushing back and forth. Here we go. K9 just trying to get the ledge trap, gets the grab from ledge, goes for the down throw, and you know what? Opting to just be like, okay, I'm going to try to read another option. Oh, okay, back here, cleaning up the stock. Master Mario possibly on winner side stock. I mean, you say possibly, but I mean, like, yet again, this is, like, I, I'd like to say this about any percent, but, like, it's kill percent. That's true. But it's also when every single player just has something click inside of them, and that last stock, they just play more different than anything that they ever did. Right. Okay. Here's back a back throw. Ball. Yep. Goes in flood. Oh, fireball. Okay. I mean, yet again, that fireball can just really mess up Wolf's recovery. Oh, yeah. No, okay. A lot of these kind of things can go ahead mess up Wolf's recovery. But it's possible. This, I, I mean, we've seen, I've seen Master go ahead and swing games pretty pretty cleanly. Can he go ahead and actually make a swing against K9 as Bruce, though? I don't think K9 is going to like let him get any more momentum than he already has. Uh, feels like both, both engines have been running, and K9 as Bruce is just keeping that engine running just a little bit harder, just a little bit longer. He's got to push it out right here, find anything he can. Yeah. Oh, that up smash once again. Not going to get the forward smash, cleaning up the game. Three to one, K9 is Bruce moving into grand finals. Master Mario now has to go and duke it out for more games on the loser side. Yet again, I mean, that was such a tight match from both players, especially at the end, because both of them wanted their kill option. You no, know, Ma Master Mario threw out the forward smash or the up smash. You no, know, K9 responded.